When we look at an empty box and there is nothing inside, is it truly empty? Or most importantly, does the word nothing really mean empty of everything? Or is it just a word that has no physical meaning? We can find the answers to all these questions solely based on mathematics and physics. And all you need to do is stay with me until the end of the video so we can go on an amazing journey to empty space together. Please like the video to support us, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your friends. Well, I won't keep you waiting for long, and we'll quickly get to the main point because I have some very exciting topics to talk to you about in this video. Imagine you're given an empty box as a Christmas gift, but when you open it, you realize there's nothing inside, which disappoints you greatly. But if you look at it from the perspective of a physicist, we will see that not only is our box not empty, but it is made up of 10 to the 25th power of air molecules. So far, we have realized that our box was not really empty. Let's assume we use a very powerful vacuum to remove all the air from the box. However, I must say that even the strongest vacuum devices cannot completely isolate a space from matter. Therefore, for this reason, we travel together on a journey of several light years to the interstellar space where the vacuum is almost absolute. In interstellar space, there are about half a million molecules per cubic meter. However, let's assume that we have placed a box in this environment and completely isolated it from all matter using an extraordinary device, 100% isolated. Now, when I ask you if there is something inside the box or not, what do you say? No, of course, you might say yes. But don't worry, I will explain it to you completely now. CMB stands for Cosmic Microwave Background. It refers to the cosmic rays that were created at the beginning of the Big Bang and are completely scattered throughout the universe. But let's build the walls of this box together so that no rays do not be able to enter it. And our box should be free of any radiation. Are you now thinking to yourself that we have definitely reached the definition of nothing? No, as you know yourself, and as I explained in the previous video, before the Big Bang, what existed was a form of energy called dark energy, which makes up 68% of our universe and is the main factor in the expansion of the cosmos. So, when we look at our empty box, there is still dark energy in it. But let's assume that we have also managed to remove this mysterious energy from our box. Have we still not reached the definition of the word nothing? I have to say no, we still have a long way to go to reach the meaning of nothing. Those familiar with quantum mechanics and quantum fields know that the universe is composed of quantum fields that constantly oscillate. That come into existence and then go out of existence in less time than you can actually measure their existence. And totally empty space is seething with virtual particles. These quantum oscillations continuously create particles and antiparticles with very short lifespans, annihilating themselves. We can only prove their existence theoretically and experimentally through their interactions with other particles. So now we understand that a particle can even come into existence from nothingness. And perhaps the beginning of our universe was also from these oscillations. But let's not stray too far from our main discussion and ask our famous question again. If we remove these oscillations and quantum fields from inside our box, can we say that we have reached the definition of nothing? Again, I have to say no. The fundamental laws of nature, which allow us to predict the behavior of the natural world, still exist inside the box. For example, if a particle moves inside the box, we can predict its velocity using the equations of motion. When we say nothing, it really means that there is truly nothing inside our box. Now it's time for the language of nature, which is mathematics. The laws with which we can calculate, for example, the volume of the space inside our box. Now let's assume that we have removed all the laws of nature from inside our box. 
At this moment in particular, can we claim that we have reached the true and fundamental meaning of nothing? Still, no. As Einstein showed in his general and special relativity equations, the universe has expanded into four dimensions of space and time. For example, you can move left and right, or up and down, and at the same time, time is passing. So, let's first remove time from inside this box. When we look inside this box, we see only a black void that represents a time before removing time from it. As removing time means our minds can no longer perceive events inside the box from before that time, leaving only a black space. Yes, you guessed correctly. The last factor we need to remove from inside this box is space itself. But if we remove space from inside the box, what remains inside that we can call nothing? We have finally created nothing. But where and when? Our minds need time and space to comprehend events, but we have created something that has neither space nor time for our minds to grasp. In reality, we have created nothing that we seek to comprehend. Until today, none of the scientists have been able to conceive the meaning of nothing. However, there might be beings, according to string theory, living in higher dimensions, who can fully comprehend what we call nothing in four dimensions. And for them, there exists something. So, in conclusion, it can be said that there is truly nothing in this universe, neither in four dimensions nor in higher dimensions, in the real sense of nothing. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please like the video to support us. And if you're interested in learning more about the time before the Big Bang, watch the video that appears on the right side of the screen.